To carry out any kind of change to the Omnia log configuration, you must have logged in as an administrator. Furthermore, you must make sure that Omnia log is in config mode. Choose Channels Configuration from the menu on the left, followed by Virtuals. The Script Configuration page will now open. The Virtual Channels allow the definition of further channels with respect to the physical ones actually present on Omnialog. A virtual channel consists of an expression that can contain one or more real channels and trigonometric functions, in addition to the most common mathematic operations. On the other hand, the script consists of a collection of virtual channels that will be acquired with the same frequency. It is possible to define a maximum of five scripts. Within a script, it is possible to define a maximum of 16 virtual channels. The expression of every virtual channel has a maximum of nine elements, operations and channels. To configure one or more virtual channels, it is necessary to have previously configured the real channels as, for example, the Omnia Log Local or Multiplexer channels. Scripts can be added via the Script Configuration page. The first panel, New Script, allows definition of the script's acquisition frequency from those suggested. Pressing the Create button adds a new script, Script 1 in the video. Pressing the Delete button eliminates the script from the list, creating a new availability. Pressing the Edit button opens the Script Editor page, on which it is possible to create Virtual Channels CV. Using the keyboard, channels and operations desired for the creation of the virtual channels can be entered. When a channel is added to the formula of a virtual channel, its position is requested. For local analog channels, the position corresponds to the channel. For digital channels, the position corresponds to the RS-485 address. For MUX-816, and MUX 1632 channels, the position corresponds to the channel, and for MUX 24 channels, the position corresponds to the instrument's initial bush terminal. Pressing Add adds this to the underlying panel. Having added a channel, it is possible to remove it by pressing the Cancel key. This will become available once more. Instead, the Edit key recalls the virtual channel to the formula bar, should you wish to change it. Once the modification is completed, pressing the Add button again saves the virtual channel together with the changes made. As with real channels, the Config key allows personalization of the channel just created, with descriptions and alarms. It is also possible to create virtual channels that, in the formula, contain virtual channels created in the same script. In the video, for example, a virtual channel CV3 is created that is the sum of the virtual channel CV1 and virtual channel CV2. Once creation of the virtual channels is complete, press the Save button to apply the changes. A further function of virtual channels is to create groups of sensors to link alarms between them. It is therefore possible to create logical operations that signal an alarm only if certain conditions specified by the user are met. To do this, an alarm has to have been configured in the real sensors. 
for example, the Omniolog local channels and the VC alarm with logical operation box being ticked. Obviously, to use the logical operations, there must be at least two sensors ready for that function. An example is shown in the video, in which all seven local sensors are ready for the logical operations. Opening the Virtuals page under Channels Configuration, it is possible to create a new script and edit it by pressing the Edit button. In the page that opens in the Virtual Channel panel, it is possible to initiate the logical operations by ticking the logical box. This enables the AND, OR, XOR and NOT keys. An example is shown in the video, in which a formula is composed for Virtual Channel CV1 that links Local Channel 1 to Local Channel 2, and with local channel 3. Once the formula is entered, this can be cancelled, modified or configured like virtual channels with mathematical operations. In the video, for example, there will be an alarm warning according to the mode chosen only if all three sensors give off an alarm. In the case in which only one or two of these generate an alarm, the user will receive no notification. Therefore, if the sending of an SMS, email or data on the FTP server has been selected, the user will only receive a warning if the logical condition is respected.